hey guys welcome back to another video so on this video i'm going to be analyzing or showing you the strategy that i use to trade cdt 75 index so first of all you use the higher time frame over just the 24 hour on trading implementation and then the 24 hour is the daily time frame so what we look for is this my psychology activation here whereby we get like some type of a hook point but instead of getting like a clear double top of um, the market retesting around this point here let me just it here so that you can see it instead of having the market to retest around this area here we get the market piercing to the upside just like this creating some type of a retest and then to push up but like it doesn't happen like that what you'll get is that the market will push to the downside and then followed by this overall ascending channel here as you all know an ascending channel is a reversal pattern to the downside so we use those scenarios or those confirmations to look for entries so i'm gonna be looking for the same thing on the lower part of the price action just because we are analyzing this area here the current market structure at this point here and then as you can see from this point we had a push down corrective move push down and then we had a deeper corrective move whereby it's still correcting within these areas here so we don't know if we will get like this movement being the impulse up and then this being the like the correct to initially push back to the upside so we're just going to analyze everything and try to see if it is the case whereby we came for those buys instead of sells but like we're following the overall structure this was just a corrective move here so we have this high point of which the market has already pierced through that my psychology activation that we want to see let me change the color for this one so what we want to see on the higher time frame has been fulfilled just because we want to see a price action piercing through that uh my psychology activation and then we can like entries and then the pattern that we are using is an expand and we use the multi-touch confirmation whereby we must have three touches in a pattern let's say we have an expanding like this one we must have the first touch the second touch and then the third touch that is when receiving opportunities so this is the same um, example that i'm showing you around this point here whereby we have the first touch the second touch and then we expect the third touch even though we have like momentum on this candle here it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that we are still looking for those selling opportunities on it is because a lot of things or a lot of confluences show us that we can look for those nice selling opportunities on back 75 and then the highest point would be this one here even if we fail to get like nice confirmation on nice confirmations on back 75 we can look for those continuations to the upside whereby the market will push to the upside and create like some type of a continuation flag and then look for continuations to the upside so let's look at the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame what i'll be doing is that i'll be focusing on this current market structure here we have a pattern within a pattern and ascending within an ascending and then we have two touches at the bottom and two touches or three touches at the top as you can see we have this here as being like the inflection point the market push to the upside this is the first touch second touch this is the middle section to push to the upside give us the third touch before we can look ourselves but like even if we we get like some type of an, an impulsive candlestick at the top of the structure what we can wait for is that engulfing candlestick on the one hour time frame and then this is the overall 90 percent here that we can target as our overall first target and then the third target would be at around this point here just because like i said on this expanding we have the first touch the second touch and then the third touch can be our overall target on this one just because those selling opportunities may reach this point and this point here so this is on the four hour time frame so let me just remove that so let's switch to the one hour time frame and then the two c can find like entries so on the one hour time frame we have that structure point that we talked about this one here whereby we got that first touch second touch and then we expect the third touch to form up 
so we had the first touch second touch here the first touch second touch and then we expect the third touch so what we can do is that we can wait for the market to reject give us like some type of an engulfing candlestick pattern here a red candle here giving us an evening star then we can get to evolve the structure just like this let me just use a let me just use the box so that you can see what i'm talking about let's say we get like a red candle around this point it's like this then what we can do is that we can wait for we can wait for the market to give us this type of formation the evening star and then we take our cell here and then our stop loss can be just above this is a risk entry and then you can wait for the market to commit let's say you get like a clear push down and then the first tight flag six to eight hours and that is when you can take your first entry it's like this and then you use a tight flag whereby you have two equal lows and two equal highs and then the entry would be in this type of formation your stop loss is just above that point and then you're targeting the lows for about seven percent and then the overall target would be at around nine percent or ten percent so yeah that is it for today's video